Okay, so today we're taking a look at Came TV's latest Boltzen LED Fresnel lights. Um, these are really cool because they're small, they're compact, uh, but they put out a decent amount of power. And because they have the Fresnel lens, they're able to push that light further out. So you don't need to have one big powerful light and uh, you know hope that it's going to reach you know your subjects way out on the dance floor. Um, you could set these lights up pretty far away and it'll throw that light um, at a distance. So you're still going to get good amount of power uh, at, a, at a distance away. Now I've done some tests, uh, a really, really basic test with um, these lights versus a more powerful light. Uh, I'll have a link below if you want to take a look at that review and it just kind of shows that you don't need a powerful light to get the light out very far. Um, so you, don't, you can get a lot of power at a distance uh, with a smaller light if you have the right kind of lens. Uh, but anyways, let's go through this because a lot of you guys may want to know what it comes with. So this is going to be very simple, um, kind of unboxing, if you will. But we'll go through a little uh, bit of the features that it has. And, uh, you know, we'll kick it on for you guys. So these are the bags that uh, they'll come in. So really cool bags, a little shoulder strap here. Uh, everything is well padded. Now when you get this, a lot of the stuff will be wrapped up in, uh, you know, bubble wrap and and everything, but I've already unboxed mine and used mine. So um, what you're going to get is a power cord here, uh, very, very long power cord. And then you'll get the uh, little brick here. And then it goes to a four pin uh, mini XLR. So they will also provide you with a, a cable that will power off of V mount or D tap. Um, so they'll give you that cable and uh, you can power it off of those professional batteries, but you can also power it off Sony batteries like uh, Sony L series NPF style batteries. So this is the 30 watt version. Got some barn doors over here. And here is the 55 watt version. Right there. And then inside uh, you'll get a yoke um, to mount it and then a couple of screws. And so let's get this set up. Let me clear off this table and just kind of get the uh, light set up for you guys and we could kick it on and I'll run through some more of the features. Okay, so we have um, the Boltzen 30 watt set up over here and the 55 watt back here. You'll identify them differently, mainly by this red band um, uh, that goes around the front of the lens here. Now the front half of this light is all metal and it's used to uh, dissipate the heat. And then you have a plastic body on the back end over here. Um, but on the inside, it's a, a lot of heat sink so there's no fan in the 30 watt, and that's really the big difference bes uh, besides wattage. With the 30 watt, they're able to dissipate the heat through the body, and so you have 30 watt, no fan. Now on the 55 watt here, you do have a fan, but it's barely audible, and when I turn it on, you'll probably not even hear the, uh, the fan, and I do have a microphone up here, so you'll probably not even hear that, but uh, there is a fan in there, and um, that's how they're able to squeeze 55 watts a bigger LED in here um, with the same exact housing, same size housing. So underneath here is where you insert your Sony battery. Um, so if we had a Sony battery like this, we just plug it in over here. And then we can kick this light on. Um, but underneath the battery tray is also a DC input. And it uses a four pin mini XLR, uh, locking XLR. So you can power this through the optional AC wall adapter, which is mainly just throwing in DC input. So there'll be a cable for a D-tap, so you could power it off V-mount as well. If you guys are out on location and you want like a professional battery, it's gonna last a long time. Um, on the back here, let's kick on the uh, display. So you have two knobs here. Um, one kicks it on, the other controls the dimming. Now, you, a lot of lights will have the on and dimming in one knob. The difference with something like this, and you'll see this with a lot of lights, is that you can turn it on and off while maintaining whatever uh, dimming you have. So let's say we, we set up a scene, and then I, I want this to be very specifically at 40%. I can turn this light off if we're taking a break, come back on, <clears throat> uh, kick the light back on, and we're back to the same lighting, so we're not changing lighting in our set or in our scene. Um, and that's how you could do that. Now there is a percentage value here. So if you can remember that, you can also dial back in the percentage, but uh, it's good to have the knob because really it's just on and off and you don't have to worry about what you had it set to last. 
Now this is only daylight. These lights are only daylight. They don't switch colors and that's so they can get the maximum power through one chip. When you, whenever you do bicolor, you're kind of splitting the power a little bit and so you don't get like the full effect. So they went with one color, which is daylight and you get the full power, 3151. All right, so we have the yoke here. You just tighten up the sides, depending on what position you want. The barn doors on the front, this whole front housing is um, kind of a push, push and pull to focus the lens, but it also rotates. The barn doors are screwed on on the front, so it's threaded and uh, that's good. Some of those clip on barn doors, you hang it over like some of your subjects, you're kind of worried that that's going to fall over. So, you know, those other lights that have clip on accessories, you don't know if they're going to fall off. This one is a uh, screwed on in the front, but you could rotate the flags by just rotating the front element. Now, if you want to take the um, flags off, you can add optional filters. They come with three different filters here, like little diffusers. One is a kind of a tungsten color. So if you wanted tungsten, you just throw this over the front. Now, the way this filter works is it goes behind the barn door. So you drop the filter um, over the front of this lens and then you put the barn door back on. Now you don't want to have the lens in here without the barn door because you just pull the lens out. So as you're pushing and pulling, this lens can, um, can kind of pop out, right? So you want to keep this lens in with the barn doors and that'll keep it secure. Now if you want to run filters without the Fresnel lens, this is like a rubber grommet here. And you could pull this uh, lens off like this. So you can put this ring back in, drop the filter, put the barn doors over it. Now you're running without a focus lens and whatever filter you want to run. So you could do it that way. And then uh, we put this back in just like this. And remember to put the lens in the correct way. If you put it in reverse, then it's uh, not going to focus the light as well. So it just drops in like this through the front and then we screw on the barn door. So just to kind of gauge the size here, this is one of the smallest Fresnel LEDs at this wattage. Um, you know, the 55 watt, very bright and very uh, compact. This is the 7200, Canon 7200, and it's just about the same size. So if you guys are familiar with this lens, how it packs up in your bag, you can fit a bunch of these in your little bag. Um, this is the 30 watt, that's the 55 watt, but they do share the same housing. Let's get this on a stand. Okay, so we're just gonna run a quick uh, test to show you guys the spot and the flood on these two lights. So here's a 30 watt, and that's a full power spot. Um, I do have a lot of lights in this room, so if you could see that, then um, it's doing pretty good overpowering the lights that I have here. So let's turn this off. Here's the spot on the 55 watt now you could i don't know if you can hear the fan the fan is actually on but it's barely audible you might even hear my computer in the background more than you can the light so even though it does have a fan if you guys are concerned i don't think it's going to be a problem especially because these lights can be positioned even further away because of the lens um, you don't have to have it near your audio source i mean i'm literally like maybe two two and a half feet away from my microphone here I don't know if you could hear it. Maybe, maybe not. All right, now we'll go to flood. So that's what the light would look like flooded at, uh, I wanna say we're about five and a half feet, six feet away from this wall. And this is flood on the uh, 30 watt. Now you can use these lights without the lens. So let's um, take the lenses off and then we'll turn that on and we'll see what that looks like. All right, so we got the lenses and barn doors off of these lights. Let's kick on the 30 watt. You can see it throws light very wide, um, almost not even in frame. You can barely see the edges of the frame here. And again, we're probably about five and a half, six feet away from that wall, but you can see it's a very hard light. Very, very hard light no weird fringing on the edges um, it is you know and that's what I love about them they're hard lights a lot of people want something like that let's kick on the 55 watt so 
So again, uh, very wide throw without the lens, very hard light. So they can be used uh, without the lens. They're not gonna throw as wide as your traditional LED panels, um, but they will throw further when you add the lens. Now, one of the options you could do is to add this Bowens mount adapter for these lenses. Um, and this will let you use all types of accessories from soft boxes to snoots and grids and you know globes and all that stuff. So uh, let me show you that. We just screw it on the front. So if you guys wanted to add uh, some type of accessory, like this globe, for instance, which is a Bowens mount, we just throw it on here. There's a locking collar. You pull the lock, you, th you lock this in. Now we have a, a cool little globe to throw that light in there. Now I notice that when I'm using this globe in particular, the lens actually, uh, the Fresnel lens, actually works a little bit better to focus the light through the Bowens mount and then I, I feel like I get more light into this globe, but um, that's up to you guys. It's just an option. Again, you can get soft boxes and tons of other accessories that are all Bowens mount. Now just for kicks, let's try to light me using just these two lights over here. Um, so let me show you what this room looks like with my normal lights turned off. Uh, so this is where I have no studio lights and this is just ambient light coming out of the window over here. Um, so pretty dim, pretty dark. I have the 55 watt on AC, I have the 30 watt on battery. Let's uh, move this over to the side out of frame. Now I'm not using any type of diffusing material. You can see I have that light out of frame here, so it's out of my reach. Um, we'll put this one over here. All right, so some pretty hard lights here. Um, so you can see those weird shadows. But, uh, you know, they, they are able to light uh, up a room, a subject, even though they are small, portable, low wattage lights. Um, even without the lenses, they do a decent job at, at lighting. So if you were to throw your diffusers or modifiers and scrims or whatever, you could probably use them uh, a lot more. And I'm like way out of frame here. So normally if you're doing like an interview and it's a little bit of a tighter shot, you can bring these lights a little bit closer as well. But uh, let's bring them back in and let's finish up. All right, got my normal lights back on. Anyway, so these are the Boltson uh, LED Fresnels. We've got the 30 watt and the 55 watt. Brand new from Kame TV. Very cool portable lights. Um, you know, you could throw a couple of them in your bag, have a really nice lighting kit on the go. Remember, these are hard lights and they're Fresnels, so they're used very specifically. They're not gonna be the best interview lighting choice, maybe, um, you know, because then you'd have to bring all your different modifiers. But if you're doing a lot of accent lighting, background lighting, hair lighting, rim lighting, separators, uh, a lot of products, um, if you're doing more industrial technology, I tend to use uh, you know the hard lights, I like the contrast. Um, so these lights are a great thing to add to your kit. If you guys want more information about this stuff, I'm gonna have a link below this video or on the blog, cheesycam.com.